What's up everyone, Inferno here, and today I'm going to teach you how to thoroughly loot airfield and show you all the most common crate locations. There does seem to be a certain level of variance with where crates spawn, so a crate might not spawn at a set location every time, but hopefully this video will show you the majority of the places where they will spawn, and I'll try to highlight the other places where there is a possibility but they haven't spawned this time in the video. And this video will also teach you how to do the airfield puzzle for anyone who doesn't already know it. It is also worth noting that the way I've set up this test server, it should be simulating server size between 100 and 200 people regularly. So this is the loot you might expect to find on a server with more than 100 people online, but less than 200 people online. So if you play on a server bigger than that, you can expect to find probably a higher amount of green crates compared to brown crates. Whereas if you play on a server under 100 pop, you'll probably see more brown crates and less green crates than what is shown in the video. So that's just worth mentioning. So to start off, there does seem to be a certain level of RNG with how crates spawn, because during a few tests, there have been crates that have spawned on top of here. Yeah, as you can see, none have spawned this time. There haven't been any crates spawning in that tower or this tower during all of my tests, but now that I know there's a level of RNG to it, it doesn't completely rule out that there isn't a chance that they can spawn there. But there is quite a lot of set locations where crates can spawn. So in this first airfield hangar, there will be a crate. The length of time between crates being looted will also determine whether they're green or brown. So in this case, it's a green crate. There's another crate here. This one's brown. And that's it for this building. So for the second hangar, come in through these doors, there's a crate here, and there's another crate here. That's all the crates for this building. For the third hangar, you come in through here, there's a crate at the door, and there's one more crate here, and that's the final crate in the hangars. As you make your way out of the third hangar, there are crates in both of these towers. So if we go up to the top, there's a milli crate here. And if we fly to the other tower, there's a brown crate here. And that's all the loot in these towers. So now we start to make our way to the main building. And there are no crates here, although I do believe a brown crate does have a chance to spawn here. If you come in through the garage doors here, you can enter through this doorway. This is the fuse room. There will be a brown crate here. I'll go through the puzzle in a second. If you go to the right, there's another doorway with another brown crate. And if you go upstairs and into this doorway, there's a final brown crate. And all of these do have the chance to be military crates. So if you come up this tower, there will be a ground, ground right here, and that's all the loot in this tower. So now that you know how to fully loot the top half of the airfield, it's time to go underground and do the puzzle. What you'll need is one fuse, one green card and one blue card, if you're a duo or more. However, if you're a solo, you'll need an additional fuse. So to start, we come back through the garage and towards the first fuse box we saw earlier. Put the fuse in and flip this lever. Then we'll go out. And we we'll want to jump into the little hatch inside this electrical area. Oh, and as you can see, the brown crate has spawned here now. So if we go down into here. see the entrance to the green card area, swipe the door, 
that will come straight here. There will be a crate here that we can move. And left down here, there will be a doorway at the end that you can go through. There's nothing over in any of these two doors that I've found. And there's a ground crate here that usually just has some kind of mining supplier. So if you continue through this whole cave, there is another two crates up the top here, just with more mining supplies. So I wouldn't personally recommend it unless you're in need of tools because it's kind of useless. And there isn't really anything down the rest of this tunnel pathway, so there's no point really heading down there. Personally, I wouldn't even go through this cave because the loot's usually not worth the time. And if you are going to loot this path, you need to be quick because then you've wasted an extra bit of durability on your brain card when you didn't have to. So that's another reason I wouldn't really recommend looting that. So you can go down this pathway, but that's just an alternate entrance slash exit. So there's no point going through it. If we come through here, there's another crate. And that's the only crate in this area. So now we head over here. We put the fuse into this area. And then we swap the blue card here. And that's all that's needed for the airfield puzzle. It's one of the simplest puzzles in the game, in my opinion, and it has a very good amount of loot. So there's two crates here, another crate here. And basically you just go through, loot all of these crates. I did get unlucky with the amount of green crates we got, there was only three, but it happens. And again, as I said, the, um, the rate at which crates respawn, it seems to be dependent on server population and also the amount of green crates to brown crates also seems based on server population. So there we go, we can grab our red card here. And the red card's the last bit of loot you can find here. So on your way out, make sure you grab your extra fuse. If you're a duo, you're, you'd want your teammate to have grabbed it as soon as you got through the first green door put it out and then you can just open the button for them when they come through. Saves wasting fuse durability. So that's about it for this video. Hope you found it useful. If you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and I'll catch you later. See ya.